hey welcome to my channel guys and today in this video we are going to look at how we can use the file upload field or filament to upload images to our certificates now we have so far created the students resource but we haven't created the certificate resource and in the certificate we do want to attach an image file right so how do we do that is something let's quickly look at the migration first so that we understand how we can stick that image so i have name description is active why don't i also add a field a string field which is and it can be null there can be certain certificates which don't have an image and let me use the laravel id helper that plugin to generate the stuff and then go to the certificate model oops not this one certificate.php add certificate image field and with this set we need to create a resource so i will do php artisan make filament resource certificate resource hit enter and we will have our certificate resource file over here so we don't have the form we want let me quickly do these things so I added these three fields in my form and similarly i'll need to add the name okay with these two things in place if i refresh i will get the table i mean the listing page and the certificate creation doesn't give me a page it is saying text column given form okay this is the wrong one text input column pa, pa, pa. text input and this will be name this should work now let me quickly add one certificate which is obviously dummy certificate hit save and if i come to the database this is all fine but then we don't have a column where we can save the image so let me see we have added this migration where you know this thing needs to be done however my migration was already uh, executed right so what i will do is let me see my migrations yes this is two which means if i revert or roll back only this will this particular migration will go which is what i want so migrate and get it back up my certificate table has this new column which is the certificate image and that would mean I can do file upload something like this okay I don't have the certificate anymore so it will give me a 404 let's create one so I'll do the same thing dummy certificate add the description and I have an image on desktop let me add that now keep an eye it also disables the you know create field while the uploading is going on so these are small small things which really is very interesting because it saves time and gives you an you know it gives you the ability to give a very polished experience to the end user okay and now if i hit create this is coming in the database and i'm able to upload it now here two things are very important um, because i had already created this thing or rather no i had tried the code before i was creating the video so couple of things were uh, not in place when i was doing it so the first one being i'll show you the command if you see storage link this command is something which you need to execute because if you haven't done this the file will be uploaded in the um storage app public folder okay as you can see there are multiple images but we just uploaded one so i was trying things out so here is the um, you know, file which will be uploaded and as laravel typically suggest you know once you create the sim link what happens is inside the public folder you create a storage folder which is basically a direct mapping to this public folder and the reason we do this is Although your storage folder has all the files, but you are only exposing the folder which is publicly accessible. So anything in this folder 
is not going to be visible to the end user. It's a, it's a very done thing with Laravel. It's a very secured way of keeping files. There can be certain files which are private in nature. So we never link it to the uh, public folder and still you know, Laravel will be able to access those files and the ones which are public, they are public, right? Okay, so this is one thing. And then in your ENV, you need to ensure that your app URL is exactly what is on the browser. Because if, like with the default ENV, you will have local host, right? So if I do that and if I try to refresh, can you see this is not working? Because inside my network tab, if I hit refresh, I'll get this 404 error and the request URL is localhost storage and the file name, which is not the case. It needs to have that port as well. So if I add that now and refresh, things are working, right? So this, these are the two things that you need to keep in mind if you want to ensure that your uploads are working properly. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.